What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys more content for Pokemon Sword Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the Rank Double Ladder with this Life Orb Braviar team. So if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you for everybody who has supported the channel, everybody who has subscribed, watches the videos, or just smash that like button. Everything helps out. But this team can actually roll out two either ways. We have a Trick Room side with that Dusclops, Arcanine, Mudsdale, and Appleton route. Or we can go Speedy side with that Braviar. Draco Fish, Arcanine, and then probably either Mudsdale or Appleton, depending on the situation. But Arcanine works well in all of these groups because, like I said, you're either going to Trick Room or you're going to stay like the speedy side, maybe set up a Tailwind and Dynamax at Bravey Ari. But in the front spot, we got Dusclops. He's our Trick Room Pokemon. Bravey Ari, he can just Dynamax turn one if you really wanted to. Just don't even go for the Tailwind. He has Define as well. So if they have an Intimidate Pokemon, try to proc that Defiant boost and get rolling from there. You got Draco Fish. Do I need to say anything about him? Speedy Mon, he just fishes friends everything. Game Game over. Arcanine with one of my favorite movesets right here with Flamethrower. Protect Snarl and will o -Wisp. We can Snarl to drop Special Attack and will o -Wisp to drop Physical. Then we got big old Mudsdale with that Assault Vest. He'll be very, very tanky and he will run in Trick Room because he's very slow and he hits like a truck. He has high horsepower for Stab, Close Combat, Heavy Slam, and Rock Slide all for coverage moves. And then the fa my favorite Pokemon for this whole team is Appleton. I absolutely love Appleton, but this one has Thick Fat and Weakness policies. So Thick Fat makes, I think it's Fire and Ice moves. Go half. So if we can trigger a weakness policy off of one of those moves, we can get rolling and dominate from there. It has Apple Acid for stab. Same thing with Draco Meter. Recover to get some HP boost and Gyro Ball for a coverage move. Guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, Mental Code is at the bottom of the screen. We're going to try to get a winner record with this team. So let's hop into some battles and get going. So in this video, I want to show off both sides of the team, the Trick Room and the Speedy side of this team. So we're probably going to go with the Trick Room team to start off, considering this guy has a Trick Room team of his own. He has Oranguru, Turricol, Ndidi, Snorlax, Gashon, and Halucha. He could actually lead Halucha and Ndidi. And then I could just play Trick Room from there. Hmm. If I really could, I could go here, here. Yeah, I want to bring the Trick Room squad. So we're going to lead Bravey, Ari, and... Uh, I don't want to check summary. We're going to lead Bravey, Ari, and... The uh, Draco Fish out. We're going to leave them both out here. I think we're good with that because that kind of covers a lot. We can Trick Room. We can uh, Pester, take out Special Attack and all that. We can put Burns on. This guy has, uh, if he leads the NDD, he could go Belly Drum, but if he goes Belly Drum, I'm just going to burn him turn one. And what can I do? He could go Belly Drum. That's scary as well. That is terrifying. Okay. I still think we're good. I still think we're chilling. Let's, let's roll out. Let's roll out and try to get a win with this team. Guys, if you want to catch more content from me, head in the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We've been streaming a lot since quarantine, so go down there. Hit that follow button. Turn on notifications so you know when I go live. I've been doing viewer battles, pushing rank ladder, Animal Crossing content, and all things Nintendo. So definitely go over there. Check me out over there. But who's he going to lead? Who are you going to lead? Hopefully, he's not the strongest. That's kind of what I'm scared of. Okay, so Indeedee Halucha. I'm cool with that. Like I said, that's totally fine by me. The Hooch is probably going to uh, pop Psychic Seeds. So, and I got the Intimidate as well. And this thing doesn't, is he, he can't learn Defiant, right? Is there Defiant ones? No, there's not. Okay, so there we go. He's minus one. He's going to pop the Psychic Seeds. I think I'm just going to throw a Burnover on him and then just uh, trigger that uh, Trick Room. And get that Trick Room rolling, yeah. So the Psychic Seeds pop. He's already minus one. I'm totally cool with it. We're going to Frisk. Okay, indeed he has Leftovers. That's cool. That's cool with me. Um, so let's just go with that Trick Room. Bibbidi bobbidi boobidi bobbidi. And then we'll go with that. I could Snarl, but I'd rather just Wither with the Hooch and get him out the way for the rest of the team. Plus, if he does swap out into the Snorlax, then we have a Wither with going out there. But he could go follow me swap. Let's see. Helping Hand. He's got a Helping Hand. What you want? What you want, fool? Stone. Bruh. Bruh. This thing had Stone Edge, but we eat that up all day. It's a tasty snack, and we're going to Wither with you. This thing had Stone Edge, my dude. Helping hand Stone Edge, not happening, not happening. Let's see, Willowis connects? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, Halucha, bye bye for the rest of the battle. You're done. You're done. Doo doo, Halucha. And now we got this trick room set up. We should be chilling from here. Uh, do I swap here now? That's the question. Do I swap or how do I play this one? Burn is out here. I could uh, swap the Dust Cops. I'm thinking about doing it, to be honest with you guys. I'm thinking about making a hard swap into the. I think we Dynamax U. Like, I'm cool with it. You go for an air move over on my, uh, on him. That's totally fine by me. Um, I go for a snarl barrel, just to pester. Or do I, uh, do I roll into a flamethrower over on the NDD and start doing work on it? I kind of want to snarl. I kind of want to snarl over on that NDD just in case it can hit my, uh, Pokemon pretty hard. Here goes my swap. We're going to go first. We're going to go first. I might just Dynamax next turn. We'll see what happens here. Hopefully he goes to the air move on me. Indeed he goes for a psychic. 
Um, this is exactly why I want to put the snarl on it. There we go. We outspeed that halucha now. And built. We're going to drop the thing special attack, so it cannot really pester us or do too much damage to us. Halucha is probably going to take out my Arcanine, or hopefully he goes for that air move on my Appleton. Let's see. Acrobatic, show it on my Appleton. Ooh, rough. Rough news. Okay, that's still fine. But I say I Dynam... Do I Dynamax at Appleton now? Or do I wait for the weakness policy to come out here? So, okay, so... Hmm. How can I roll out here? Burns on that thing. I'm chilling. Um... How do I roll out? Do I bring back out Dust Clops? And just start helping hand Teen off? I could do that. And then just save that Mudsdale for the end? Or do I bring Mudsdale out here and just get rolling out from here? Because I can rock side do some damage. I say, I say we just start helping hand. I say we start doing that. We Dynamax Appleton right here, right now. And we get going. Yo. Dynamax and Appleton, yo. I love it. I love it. We bring back out Collapsy Poo. And we're going to Dynamax here. Uh, do I go for an Overgrowth? Do I drop their attack? I mean, both these are stab. I'd rather kind of... Or I could boost our defense. I say I just go into that. And then I could throw... I could throw a will o over there. Or I could just helping hand and make sure this thing goes out. Hmm. Yeah, let's just helping hand this thing. Let's just help and hand it. It's going to withdraw Halucha. Who are you going into? Don't you dare show me a fairy, man. Snorlax. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. We get a big old helping hand going into that. Hopefully this thing's not going for a follow me. Because this could be huge. Helping hand, dropping that thing's attack. I mean, he's going to work well in the trick room. Hopefully this can trigger his, uh, what's it called? This is the only tough part. This is the only tough part. We got to trigger his berry here. We really do have to trigger his berry here, considering he's probably going to go for a, uh, a belly drum and try to roll off from there. But 414 HP, that's huge. That's huge. Don't you dare go for a follow me. He doesn't, oh, I don't know if he does. Let's see. Let's see his move. He does not. Here we go. Max Wormwind coming in here. We're going to minus one his attack, and we're going to do some big, big damage to him. Bang. Trigger his berry already. I'm cool with it. He's probably just going to start rolling out with follow me's and all that. And trying to belly drum up. But we'll see. I'm going to throw a burn on him next turn. Here goes his berry, so I'll throw a burn on him next turn, just so it kind of, like, neglects some of his damage. This one's going to come. This one's going to uh, get a little, little tougher. Oh, I wish that was super effective. That would have been awesome. That would have been awesome. Trigger my weakness policy. That's what I was hoping the Halucha was going to do, but now he went for the Acrobatics over my Arcanine. So I kind of wish my Arcanine would have died to that Psychic then. <laughs> but do I Steel Spike? Do I boost our defense? How can I roll with this one? I feel like I should Steel Spike. But I feel like I should Overgrowth at the same time. I'm just going to Overgrowth for Stab Damage here. And I'm going to throw a uh, Burn over here. Because he's got to go follow me Belly Drum, right? That's got to be a thing. That's got to be it. So I'm going to try to get a little bit of HP back here. Oh, he's just Dynamaxing. Okay. Okay, maybe I should have helped him hand and went for that. But, yo, once I get this burn off, like, I'm chilling. Like I said, I have the Mudsdale in the back. He's probably going to go for a max strike over on my, uh, over on my boy. And he's minus one. That is, that is kind of whack. He's minus one, and we're about to put a burn on him. This cop should go first here. Nope, follow me comes out. That's totally fine. So we'll put a burn over on that side. But he's minus one. He's minus one. So I'm cool with it. Put a burn over here. I'll go for the overgrowth. We'll start regenerating some HP. But he can't hit too, too hard without his belly jump. And he's minus one, like I'm saying. <laughs> so if I can just get a burn on him, that'd be GG easy. Let's see what happens here. We'll do, we'll do a little bit of damage here. No middle. Not bad. Burn can start pestering that and eventually take it out. But we get a crit. Oh, I'll take that. I will take that. So we get the crit. We get the grassy terrain up. The burn will uh, do a little bit more damage. Nightshade can take it out next turn. And I can go for another worm one. He's gonna go for a G Max Replenish. He'll probably get the berry back, to be honest with you guys. Doesn't do too, too much damage. As long as he doesn't get the berry back, we should be thriving here. He did. He, he did find his Citrus Berry. Whack. He found his Citrus Berry. Let's minus his attack again this turn. So, Nightshade should be able to take out the Ndidi. I'm chilling. Okay. I, I seriously think I'm fine. I seriously think we get the Max Worm went off. We go into that. And then we still have the Trick Room. Let me see how many turns we have in Trick Room. Because then I can recover once I get out of this thing and start just rolling out from there. So, do I have two turns left in Trick Room? That's what I want. One. Mm. Okay, tough news there. Tough news. But definitely a Worm Wind over on you. And we'll just uh, drop a little bit of Nightshade action. Let's drop a little bit of Nightshade action. So, we can say, buy the NDD unless it protects. Probably going to go for a follow me, but I'll be able to take it out with the Nightshade, I believe. Ban it. Din -din -din. All right, so Helping Hand before it rolls. That's, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. But my thing should go first, so... Doesn't affect Indeedee? What you mean? I thought it affected Indeedee. That's whack. Okay, I'm cool with that. He's gonna parry up again. We're gonna drop its attack. Mmm. Mmm. That is tough. That is tough. 
Why I think it affected Indeedee. But he has a Citrus Berry again. He's going to go for another Max Strike. We're going to have to try to roll another Trick Room here. Help us out here. Max Darkness comes through. Over on my Cops. That's got, yeah, it's got to be on my Cops. But we're Evo Lady. Easy. Easy work. Um, I'm going to recover here. Like, I'm going to just play the long haul here. I really think I'm, I'm chilling with playing the long haul here. We have the grassy terrain. I can recover up. A pretty bulky mine as this thing's minus on the attack board. Did he find a berry? He did not. So if I can just wait out his Dynamax, I seriously think we're fine. We'll run another Trick Room here. And I will recover. Because this thing, I can just see this thing going for a potential another follow me or a helping hand. It doesn't really matter too, too much. But yeah, I think I think that's the call. What's the dimensions? Return back to normal. Man. Man, 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 man. Okay. So slow match here. Yo, Appleton. Look at Appleton's ears. Uh, do I, I think I gotta recover here, right? I think I gotta recover. I gotta roll the Trick Room. I gotta roll the Trick Room, yeah. So we cannot hit that in DD with the cops, which, which is rough. We're gonna roll Trick Room. He's probably gonna go both turns. I don't think he can take me out. He's gonna withdraw the NDD. That's totally fine. And who are you gonna go into? Halucha? Gastrodon. Oh my god, I can Apple Acid the Buns off you. I can Apple Acid the Buns off you. G-Max Replenish. I should be able to eat this up and then be able to just pop a nice little recover. Yeah. All right, beautiful. So give me my HP back. He does not find a berry as well. So that's that's huge. That's huge for us. I think Appleton is slower than that Gastron. I can be able to do that. And this turn, next turn, I can get that uh, that burn off on that. So I'm legit just going to play this one so slow and s just dr draw it out. So I, can, I have burns on his Halucha. I'm not really worried about the NDD too much. And then I have the Mudsdale in the back. But they have a rather slow team as well. Let's see what happens here. He's done for that. I know my thing is my uh, Appleton is slower than that Snorlax. So I'm just gonna go gonna go put pressure on the Apple Acid side here. I'm gonna try to throw a burn over on you. I'm playing around. I'm gonna try to throw a burn over on the Snorlax. Let's see how this slow thing plays out. So I know Appleton is faster. He's gonna withdraw the Snorlax. That's cool. Is he gonna go back into uh, Lucha? Yeah, okay, that's fine. So we don't get the burn on him. That's fine. I want him to proc my weakest policy. And he's gonna withdraw that back into the Ndidi. Okay. That's fine by me. I'm cool with it. So we can take out the Indeedee here. He just wants a Psychic Surge again. That's really what I, what I think he wanted. Is a Psychic Surge to pop again. There we go. Battlefield got weird. Will the Wisp pops out. Does not affect. He's already burned. And Apple Acid should potentially pick up KO with the burn, right? Okay, yeah. Indeedee gone. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. All right, so there's one down. We got a tie game here. Burns pestering around. Who's he going to go into from here? Whom are you going to go into from here? I kind of got him on the ropes. I kind of got him on the ropes with this long battle. Snow Ice comes back out. I'm telling you, I need to burn on it. And he has to burn, so I don't care if you hit me. I'm probably just going to roll out with a, a nice little Apple Acid. Or a... I don't want a Draco Meteor. I really do not want a Draco Meteor. Hmm. The high spin, the slower the user is compared to the target. Okay, yeah. Let's go here. And then I want to go into a burn over on you. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Like I said, I can just play, I, I can play this one slow and win this game with just these two Pokemon, I feel like. Yo, will o pops out here. Bruh, he avoided the attack. Get out my face. Gyro Ball's gonna come out here. Yo, do a decent amount. Go ahead, go for an Acrobats on me. Darkest Larry is gonna go on my, my boy right here. Like, can I get this burn off on that thing? That could be huge. Let's see what happens here. Acrobats, go on my thing. Yes! That's what I wanted. That's big damage, but I'll be able to recover next turn. I will be able to recover next turn. And now we are weak this policy proc. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Do I go for the KO? How do I play this one? I definitely want to put the burn on there. Oh, um, Acrobats is huge damage. I'm going to recover. And then I'm going to put the burn over on the Snorlax. Let's go. We got the weakness policy. So recovery's going to pop here. And if I can land this burn on the Snorlax, we are chilling. We are just fine. You know, that Acrobats would have probably one-tapped my, uh, my, what's it called? My Appleton if he wasn't burned. The burn really coming to clutch. Burn connects this time. Beautiful. Snorlax gets the burn on him. Yo, long match. I love long matches like this. It kind of shows me that I can uh, I can play the long haul and I can uh, outplay some opponents. There we go. We get the recover up. Appleton. Yeah. Give me that HP. Gotta go for another Acrobats. You get impact. Are you doubling into me? He is. That hunk of junk. But he is burned. Yeah, yo, we actually might be dead. Lucha uses Acrobats. Ooh. Oh, no. He goes for him. Beautiful. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to take out Halucha this turn. Yeah, I want Halucha gone. I don't think he can attack next turn, right? Is that how Giga Impact works? He can't attack next turn, so I can totally recover again. Right? Is that how Giga Impact works? 
That can recover again and then just go for a night chain. Right? Is that a fact? Should be a fact. Let's go for it. Let's get it. Night chain comes out here. This should be able to take him out. Right, right, right. Yes, Halucha's dead. We get the recover back up. Boom. Looking beautiful. Looking beautiful. I think he could have took out my uh my Appleton. It would have been close if he would have just went for an Acrobats on me. There we go. We get another one. Yeah, and he must recharge. So beautiful. Yo, long haul game for the win. We got this one. We got this one. No more trick room. Um, he's burned. And I'm weak this policy prop. So bang, yo. Bang, bang, bang. Gastro comes out here. I'm gonna one-tap this fool. I'm gonna one-tap this fool. That's a fact. I'm just gonna do that. And do I try to roll trick room if I can, or do I helping hand before I go out? And I'm gonna try to roll trick room if I can. That just helps me out overall. Let's see what happens here. Ice beam comes through. I have thick fat. I have thick fat. So easy eats. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's not easy eats. That was not easy eats. Okay, never mind. Still, he survives. I'm gonna get a trick room up. That's beautiful. Oh, he has a berry. Okay, I was gonna say, we missed? Oh my god, dude. That thick fat did so much. Uh, okay, you're dead now. <laughs> that thick fat helped us out so much. That ice beam did a lot more than I expected because it was not stabbed. It's not stabbed. And I was like, bro. All right, Trick Room, we got this one in the bag. We have the speed advantage now. We're done. We're done. Game's over. Wow. GG, yo. We play the long haul. We get that win in battle number one. Trick Room team prevails for us. Good thing we called with this one. But I definitely want to show off the speedy side of this team with the Braviary and all that. Uh, I'm going to just drop a Trick Room meteor and finish this thing off. Stab, damage, and then scroll into this. Bang, he's probably going to cancel anyway. But, yo, GG to this guy. Oh, he does not. He lets me finish him off. It does not affect Snorlax. I don't really care. Like the only move I really had. But Trick Room Meteor is going to pop out here. Say bye-bye. See you later, punk. See you later. Weakness policy. Apple tongue for the win. Yeah, that's my first time using it. And I absolutely love it. Let's hop into battle number two and try to go 2-0 with this team. This dude's got the diggers me, so you know it's going to be a tough battle. Here we go. Battle number two. He's got Prima Arena, Indeedee, Mimikyu, maybe a Trick Room Mimikyu, Titar, probably weakness policy. Titar, probably an Assault Vest, Gudra, and then that huge power, Life Orb. I'm thinking Diggersby right there. So I want to roll out with the speed team here. I really think uh, Braviary and Arcanine could get the lead. I think so. We go Braviary, Arcanine. No, yeah. Braviary, Arcanine. Bring Draco Fish in the back. Then either Mudsdale or Apple Pie. Who do I go with? Mudsdale or Apple Pie? He has a ground mount of his own. Grass can work good on the T Tar, that, and the Primarino. So mm, let's go. Let's get it, Mr. Appleton. You coming back in here? Let's see if we can go two and oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I don't know if I, I'll decide if I should Dynamax that Braviary turn one. We'll see, we'll see. But Braviary is probably going to be my main turn Pokemon, or my Dynamax Pokemon on the team, unless we go Appleton. Unless we go Appleton, because I don't want to Dynamax the Draco Fish, nor the Arcanine. I really don't want to do that. Darkenai just there to pester, all that good stuff. But he goes Diggers B and Indeedee, so I can definitely see a follow me here. Oh, Lord, what's, what's, does he have Rockfall? Does he have Rockfall? That's the question. Intimidate comes out here, which is huge, so we're going to drop that thing's attack, which is honestly huge. And I'm going to try to put a burn on that thing. I think he might just go Helping Hand, and I'm going to Dynamax. I really am going to Dynamax here. But I could Protect. I could Protect and go for the burn, but I don't really see that doing too, too much. He has minus one. This thing's going to pop some Psychic Seeds and boost his uh, Special Defense, which I'm fine with. I'm going to Dynamax, and I'm going to go for that Speed Advantage here. I'm going to go for that Airstream over on the Digger Speed, see if we can do some big damage. And then do I Snarl, or do I go for the will o -Wisp? I kind of want to snarl because I think Follow Me's going to come out of here, but I'm going to Willowis. I am going to Willowis here just in case I can pull this off. Here goes my Dynamax big boy. Hopefully he's Dynamaxing that Diggersby. That could be huge. He's minus one, and if he doesn't go for a Follow Me, I can put the burn on him and just shut him down. And just shut him down. But yeah, let's go. Big old Braviary. Big old Braviary. I think Braviary is so cool. I think it's one of the cooler looking bird Pokemon. Like, I don't know why. Just like its colors and everything just matches perfectly. But what is this thing going to go for? A will Oh, we get the will o -Wisp? Dude, are you serious? Are you kidding me? Bruh. Bruh, you cannot make these things up. You cannot make these things up. That thing should have been burned. He should have been burned. Bruh. Okay, it's okay. We take him out, but still, he should have been burned, and he should have barely done damage to us. Bruh, what you mean? Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Digger's Beast gone. Big old funny guy's gone. And what are you going to go into here? A psychic over on here? You're doubling up. I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. I got the speed advantage, so I know I'm going to go next turn. I know I'm going to go next turn. And then I could either burn his other Pokemon, or I can go for a Snarl. Who's just going to come out here? Uh, yeah. We're definitely Snarling. 
There's no way this thing's weak this policy. He's got to be a soul vested, right? He's got to be a soul vested. So I think I just boost my speed again. And I go into you. And then I go into the snarl barrel here. I snarl barrel up to drop special attack. Let's see, here goes his Dynamax. And, okay, that's fine by me. Um, He's got to have Sap Sipper, right? So I got to watch out with that for the Apple Gun. I do have, uh, what's it called as well? I do have Draco Meteor on him. My Apple Pie. On my Apple Pie, yeah. But, bruh. I'm so mad about it. I missed that burn. My Brave Rider would add much more healthier. Let's see what happens. Here goes a Snarl. Dropping both his. Guja avoids it? Are you kidding me? Are you serious? The only one I wanted to be on was him. And he avoids an attack? Get out of my face, dude. Now my Brave Rider is done. We do some nice damage there. We do some nice little pester damage. Wah, 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 wah. I'm gonna get the speed boost. I can start on next turn. Hopefully he misses. Like I don't, I don't know. There goes my Braviary. That's a fact. Braviary's probably gonna go down to the psychic. Oh no, it survives. Show me you're going for the uh, Arcanine. Show me you're going for the Arcanine. Okay, cool, cool. So we get one more turn here. I'm definitely snarling. I could see a Max Guard coming out here. What do I actually see? Do I see a Max Guard coming out here? That's my question. I think I might actually see a max guard. So I'm gonna go over on this Indeedy, and I'm gonna snarl up. Bruh, can this one land? Can this one land? We need this one to land. He is plus one now. He's plus one. He should be even. The first one. How do you miss a snarl? That move's always connecting. Let's see. Like, I get will o -Wisp. It's a little lower on the accuracy board, but snarl? Bruh. Bruh, what you mean? See, no, he's not guarding. He's just gonna go for a follow me, which is totally fine by me. I'm going after you anyway. And here we go with the snarl. Connects on both. Beautiful. We drop that Gujo's thing back down to one. Or back to even. It's zero now. And he's going to deal some damage to my uh, Arcanine. And my Brave going to take himself down with the Lightboard. But hopefully he can take out the Ndidi with it. Yes, sir. Okay. Ndidi's gone. Diggersby's gone. Gujo has one more turn here. And he's zero. He's, he's even. And we got the speed advantage. We got the speed. So now I can bring out Draco Fisher. And bring out the Fishy Poo. I know Dracofish should be able to outspeed that Gudra. Really depends what his last Pokemon is. If it's a Titar, I can just fish his run up on that. Just give it the old Bopskis. And the Ooze is going to fly through. We should be able to eat this up. Is this going to trigger my uh, berry? This might trigger my berry. It does not. It does not. It does not give me that half. But still, you know, we eating up. We are eating up here. And I can put a burn on whatever Pokemon I want or keep snarling out. So we're going to go straight in with that Dracofish. Get rolling. Um... Who's his next Pokemon? Because he might protect it if he sees my Draco first. That's a scary little Pokemon. Okay, he goes out. Or this is me. This is my fish. A little bit of fishy action. And he goes out into the Prima Arena. Okay, now now we're sitting a little tougher. I definitely got a Snarl Barrel again. These are his last two. I could Crunch or I could Psychic Fangs. I mean, I am strong with Jolt, so I might as well go into that. Hmm. He doesn't have any screens up, so we're just going to go into that and go after the Gudra. Then we're going to go roll into the Snarl, just to pester and drop both special attack once again. And then Appleton in the back. Do I have Appleton in the back? Yeah, I have Appleton in the back. Which Appleton could do work here. He just has to eat up shots. That's the only thing. He has to be able to eat up shots. And I don't know if he can eat up a big moon blast from a, from a, what's it called? From a Primarina. So it's coming down. If I can just keep dropping special attack, I still have my berry, which is huge. Which is huge. I still have my citrus berry. I just wonder what he's going to do. Snarl comes out here. Yeet. Double drop. So that's huge. That's huge. That, that is, I think that is just what I'm going to do on both these mods. Just keep dropping the special attack and trying to survive as many turns as we can. Crunch comes out. That's big damage. We can take out that Kudra next turn. And Dazzling Green comes out here. Can we eat that with a minus one? Go ahead, Draco Fish. I love you, Draco Fish. Go ahead. Go for another max ooze on me. Here goes my Citrus Berry. Go after my Arcanine. If he goes after my Arcanine, we should be chilling here. I can take out the Kudra next turn. Let's see. Just for another ooze. Show me on the Arcan. I know that's all my, uh, it's all my Draco fish. Draco fish eat, buddy. Draco fish eats. Let's go. Let's get it. Draco fish eats. That is beautiful. I can take out the Gujra here. And I can, I can pretty much roll out here. He's gonna boost special attack. I'm gonna drop it again. I'm gonna drop it again. I'm not dealing with this. Not dealing with this. Yeah. Um, do I crunch? Do I crunch? Do I take out the Gujra or do I take out the Primarina? I feel like the Primarina poses more of a threat here. Now, we're going to take out the Gujra. We're going to make sure the Gujra goes down. And then I'm just going to drop another Snarl. That's my plan. That's my plan. Because they can't boost special attack again. Let's see, Snarl pops out here. We're just pestering, yo. I'm loving this team. I'm loving this team. There we go. Dropping both special attack. Primarine is going to go for another Dazzling Gleam. 
And then if I can just get off one apple acid, we should be good. Crunch comes through. Bye bye, Gudra. That's and Gleam's going to take out my uh my Draco fish. We're gonna get another turn with my uh Arcanine. I'll probably snarl up again. Oh, it goes for a hyper boost. Never mind, that still takes out and ooh, that's big. Did you crit on my Arcanine? This is not very effective. That did some big old damage. That did some big old damage. What did that thing just get? Throat spray. Okay. So, mm, mm. Okay, now we're we're sitting in a tough spot here, to be honest. Hmm. Um. How do I roll? I gotta roll in with an apple acid, because he's gonna go for the so apple acid. He's gotta come out here, and I gotta hope that we can eat up the shot and go into a snarl again. We gotta drop this thing special attack. What is this thing? Is this thing minus two? Aqua Jet's gonna come through. That's fine by me. That's totally fine by me. Come on, apple acid, do the work. Do him dirty, baby. Come on, Apple Acid. Do him dirty. Give it to him. Give it to him. Mmm. Mmm. We get the drop? Oh, we do get the drop. We do get the special defense drop. Ooh. It comes down to this. Can your boy eat? Can your boy eat up? Let's see it. Let's see it. Two and out or one. Oh, that's some gleam. I think hi no, Hyper Voice wouldn't have been better. Appleton. My dude. My dude. Coming in clutch for that win. Now I realize why Hyper Voice did so much. It wasn't a crit. It was because... I'm, I'm used to thinking uh, Hyper Voices goes with the uh, Pixelate with the Sylveon, so it's always fairy. But it's actually a normal attack. That's why I did so much to my Arcanine. But, yo, my dude, Appleton, coming in clutch. Yo, GG. If this guy had Moonblast, he probably would have took me out in one shot. But, yo, GG. Third and final battle coming at you guys. If you are hanging out with me in this third battle, give me a little bit of hashtag apple pie in the comment section down below. Let's me know who sticks around and watches the videos all the way through. But he has Dragonfall, Togekiss. Sylveon, Incineroar, Intimidate Incineroar, so I could maybe lead the Braviary, trigger that Defiant, and just run out and win this match. I think I'm going to go with the Speed Team here. He also has a Rotom and that Dust Cops. Um, I think I'm chilling. I think I, if I go here, I think if I go same team, or do I bring Mudsail instead of the Apple Pie? Hmm. Mudsail or Apple Pie? I mean, Apple Pie just gets teed off by a lot here. Yeah, so Apple, no, no Apple Pie. Not a chance for the Apple Pie, considering Fairy moves right there, Fire moves with the Incineroar, Fairy and air moves with the Togekiss and dragon moves with the dragon pole. It's like, oh my lord, he just dominates. So, Mudsail's gonna fly out here and he has a Soul Fest as well. So, we're gonna go in with this. If he can lead that Incineroar, ooh, it's GG. It is GG. I'm gonna dump on his mods, boost his speed. We're gonna get rolling, but I hope he doesn't bring the Dust Cops. I mean, it could be alright if he brings the Dust Cops, but honestly, we'll just see what he does. We'll see what he does. What you want, fool? What do you want? Show me Incineroar. Show it to me. Trigger my Defiant. Does he go in sin? Come on. Mm. Whack. Whack. Okay. Um. Real question is, do I still Dynamax? Do I still Dynamax? Do I still Dynamax? I feel like I still should. Um. I could protect. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to protect, and I'm going to Snarl. Because if I protect Snarl, I can see a follow me T-Ball coming in. Right? I don't think he's going to die to Max. I can see a follow me T-Bow coming in. Is done. But I was trying to get Snarls off before I die to Max so I can eat up even more. But he is going to die to Max the Rotom, right? Yeah, Rotom's going to try to go for that Max Lightning over on your boy. Or he might go for a Hydra Pump. Or not Hydra Pump, but Max, guys. But he got a big advantage with this. Got a big advantage here. Alright, alright. What do you want, fool? See what happens. Helping hand. Ooh! Ah! Ouch! That might hit through my uh my protect and just dump on me with a helping hand. I'm gonna be stabbed big down. We'll just see what happens here. Snarl comes out. Dropping that. Dropping that special attack, which is huge. Well, good thing we did not Dynamax here, because this could have been scary, scary, scary. He's gonna, oh, he's gonna go for a geyser. Wow. Smart play though. I think I think I think we Dynamax here. I honestly think we Dynamax here. It's our last hope. We got Dynamax at Braviari. And just start boosting speed, rolling out from there. The rain is triggered. So I could get Draco Fish out here. That could be huge for Draco Fish. Draco Fish, yeah. Let's get Draco Fish up in here. Draco Fish, my dude. And we Dynamax and we just go for Airstream. We go for Airstream over on the, uh, the what's it called? The Rotom. The Rotom. I mean, let me see his mods again. Oh, dude, this, this uh, Fish's rank could be huge for the team. We got Dynamax, we'll go for the Max Airstream. Over on Tokus. I mean. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's, let's do that. No, 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 no. We're gonna go. I gotta, because I feel like the Fisher Wrench is gonna take out that. So let's just go, uh, Dynamax, yes. Do I, do I knuckle? I could knuckle and boost her attack here. But I'd rather boost her speed, to be honest. Let's go here. Go Airstream. Just get the one speed boost, and then we go into the Fisher's Wrench, straight into the Togekiss, and say bye bye to that. So I should have the speed advantage. I could see him going for a follow me, but I think Fisher's Wrench will just slap up on it as it's one, it's stab, it's in the rain, and it's double damage because he's going to go first. Like, jeez. And, and let's not forget about the choice ban. So big old damage coming out here, and we'll boost our speed for next turn. He might actually take out my Braviary here, which is rather scary, but he is minus one, so maybe we can eat up a shot, because I know he's life orb as well. It's just kind of tough. See what happens here. Follow me. Yeah, okay, so follow me pops out here. I'm cool with it. Let's go. I need my Braviary to eat one one shot. That's really what I need to do. Vicious Run coming through. Eey. Big old damage. Bye-bye. See you later. Get him out of here. Who goes first? Oh, you go first. Max Lightning, eat it. Eat it, Braviary. Eat it. Oh, my God. He eats it like a you. Eats that easily. Easily. And we'll be able to outspeed the Rotom with his speed boost next turn. Mm. You shouldn't have set the rain, my dude. Thank God for that special attack drop. That's huge. Yo, Airstream's going to fly through. I just wanted the speed boost, like I said. I needed that speed boost. That's huge. Do a little bit of damage there. I could go into a max knuckle next turn if I really wanted to. But we're chilling. We are chilling. We have the speed boost. Hopefully it goes into Incineroar. That could be huge. A defiant pop here. Well, show me that. Because I'll have speed and I'll be able to just start dumping on things. So I think even a minus one uh, Drinko fish can still dump on an Incineroar with his fish run. We get his Collapsy Poo. Which I can definitely see an ally switch. He sees our life orb and our choice band. I think I'm going to see the ally switch, I'm, so I'm going to go there. And I'm going to go here. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that. I, I'm thinking the ally switch is going to come, or he might try to roll trick room. Fisher Ren, oh, he does not try to roll trick room, but still! Ooh! Big old damage! Actually, our stream's coming out here. We'll get speed boost. He's got to be rolling trick room here. And the life orb is going to take him out, which is actually awesome. Life orb is actually awesome. But yo, big old fishish Ren damage. Big old damage. Please don't roll a trick room. Please don't roll a trick room. Lightning is going to take us out, I think. Oh, no, you're going after him. That's fine. Wait. Tasty, baby. Oh, life orb does not take it out. Oh, you never go trick room. Ooh, ah! Ouch! It's all right. I have the Mudsdale in the back. The Mudsdale can prevail very, very well. So he drops down, he's still minus one, and I still have another Dynamax turn. So he's gonna die on his own. I'm gonna go here. And then I just gotta drop Fish Swin over. So he's gonna go first. I think he's gonna take out my Braviary here. Right? He takes out my Braviary, and I don't think he can take out my uh I don't think he can take out both. I really don't think he can take out both. He actually might not be able to take out my Braviary, to be honest. To be honest, I don't think he can take out my Braviary. Unless he has, like, Mega Lightning. <laughs> New move. <laughs> That's it. Nice shade's gonna pop here. I think we eat this one up. Correct? Correct. Okay, we eat that up. Beautiful. And he's gonna go into a T-Bolt over all my Dracofish. That's totally fine by me. So he's dead. They're both dead. They're both dead. Rotom dies from Life Orb. And my boy dies over here from uh, this Airstream. So awesome, yo. We're chilling. And he, and he has a trick room for us. And we have that Mudsdale in the back. Beautiful. Looking like a 3-0 today? You know it. Looking like it. Looking like it. Ah, I'm an animal. Who wants it? Who's next? Who's next, baby? Who wants it? A beautiful bang. Get my Assault Vest Mudsdale up in here. Da 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 da. Hey, ch -ch hey, jeans is popping off today. Hey, yeah. Dun 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 and I'll just be able to just high horsepower do a ye old backwards donkey kick. Yo, I love its animation. It's a backwards donkey kick. We'll go Brave Bird for some stab damage. If we do connect it, because I think Hyper Voice is just going to pop out here. And take out my Brave Yari, but still, my Mud Sails is so fast. He should be able to get off two turns and finish this thing off. Let's see. Boop. Well, he might need three turns. We'll see. Hyper Voice comes out. And bye-bye, Brave Yari. Brave Yari does not eat. Okay. Like I said, we should be able to get two, three turns off on this. This next one might actually KO. This next one might KO. To be honest, considering uh, if it can get a high roll. We'll see. And it, it kind of looks like it did more than half. We'll see right here. We'll see right here. High horsepowers coming out for the win. For the 3-0. Can Jeans do it? Can Jeans do it? He does. The best to ever do it. 
The three-time champ right here. Who wants it? Who's next, baby? Let's go. <laughs> Haven't went 3-0 in a good bit on recording, so that one feels good. I'm a big fan of this team. This is up there with my favorite Season 3 team, along with that Digger Speed team that we used in the last video. If you haven't checked out the video, definitely go slide over there. Check it out. Smash a like on that video. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.